SB in Arizona was originally built around copper mining, but today it is all about tourists flocking to see those yesteryear mines. While the Spanish flu took away many lives about over a hundred years ago, COVID-19, it appears, is now taking away livelihoods. This report tells you more. About a hundred years ago, the town of Bisbee in Arizona was bustling. Until the Spanish flu pandemic struck in 1918. And within two or three days, it was killing people. Um, this disease took about 72 hours from the time of, of the presentation of first symptoms until the victims would die. At its peak, when two, three, four people a day were dying here, I mean, there were, I think, a, a total of about 180 deaths in, in this community. The well-to-do townspeople were hit by a virus that came in a box. This gentleman here is Carl Axel Carlson. He was the first person from Bisbee to have died during the pandemic. He did not die in Bisbee. He was a soldier in the U.S. Army. He was undergoing training at Camp Dix, now Fort Dix, New Jersey. He contracted the flu at uh, Camp Dix and died there. His body was brought back to Bisbee on September 26, 1918. He brought the virus to Bisbee, but it was in a box. He wouldn't have directly contaminated someone, but people riding on that train probably did. Despite the Spanish flu taking lives, the copper mining town carried on with business as usual. Bisbee was a wash in money. You know, full employment, the price of copper had tripled since the war started in 1914 and the demand had gone up higher and higher and higher every year. Uh, Phelps Dodge's copper was shipped to Europe to support the French and British and Italian war effort. After America entered the war, the, the demand for copper rose even higher. So they're not going to shut production down. There was no stay-at-home order. People continued to go to work. But in 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic has brought Bisbee to a near standstill. So Bisbee is turning into a little bit of a ghost town these days. Um, just in the last few months, we've lost a lot of businesses. I'm still hanging on here, but the two businesses next door, a few down the road, a few on the next street, um, we only have so many businesses. We're a town of 5,000, and we've already lost, off the top of my head, I can think of 10. The former mining town of southern Arizona is now a hip tourist destination. Bisbee is solely dependent on tourism to sustain itself. I'm running at a very small capacity right now. Like today, I'd expect about 200 people. I'm going to have probably 28 people. The people of Bisbee are hanging by a thread hoping for a better tomorrow. Bureau Report, we on World is One.